you know, I said, nigga. You supposed to hit your chest and throw up the no, peace sign. That means you yeah, want to you know, I said, I said, niggas are worried about niggas saying the ER word, but niggas are saying. Gervonta Davis just unleashed hell upon Ryan Garcia after he said something so wild you can't even imagine. Garcia just called Tank the N-word. And let's just say, what happened next was well-deserved. Gervonta Tank Davis was not going to let this disrespect slide. He took a swing at him and Garcia went down in the exact way he went down against his fight with Tank Davis. But hey, this served Ryan right. You can't go around saying stuff like that. But then again, this is not the first time Ryan has done something like this. Just a day ago, Ryan posted an absurd tweet that left all the fans stunned. His tweet was not only racist, but also religiously offensive. I love everyone. That's a crazy thing. I love everyone. I love black people. I love Muslims. I love everyone, bro. Look, look what they just said. R.I.P. my mom. Bro, like, see? People are, people are bad. This has got to be the most controversial year for Ryan Garcia. First, the use of illegal drugs and now using the N-word. How low can this guy go? Well, lower. Because what Ryan said next was so out of hand, it left everyone speechless. Even Devin Haney ran into Ryan Garcia in public to confront him. But according to Ryan Garcia, Haney was all talk and no walk. Unlike Gervonta Davis, who brutally attacked Ryan. Yo, I just ran into Haney right now. We're going straight to Orange County. Haney, the guy that I beat up with a thousand left hooks. He literally looked at me, and you know what I told him face to face? As I passed him, I said, keep jabbing, champ. Yes or no? For sure. And you know what's hilarious about it? He was like, uh, they want to hit the, you know, the, they want to hit the switch, like we can fight, blah, blah, blah. Nothing happened. <laughs> Bro, you guys are weenies. No wonder Haney didn't confront the guy who knocked him down not once, not twice, but three times in the ring. But hey, Bill Haney's father sure had a lot to say. Haney's old man wasn't just gonna let Garcia say the N-word and not speak on this hot topic. He flat out asked Garcia to seek help. I'm definitely not happy to see the kid crashing out. Uh, that team, you know what I mean? Uh, I wish them well, but there's no place for that kind of talk, you know what I mean? And particularly, and directed you know, in the way that it's being directed, you know. Um, you know, it's just no, it's just no, there's just no place for it. You know? uh, I think that he should get help, you know what I mean? And um, that's it. I don't believe in kicking a man while, there's down, while they're down. Um, but he definitely should get help, and the people around him should step up and be held accountable and, and, and speak loud and be just as you know, happy that they can be there for um, Ryan during these kind of times. This is a time that you see what kind of what kind of team you got. Now, these are just verbal shots and truth be told, they won't do much for Garcia and they did not. Garcia deserved a beatdown for this sort of behavior and our guy Gervonta Tank Davis delivered. What pushed Tank over the edge and into beast mode against Garcia? It all started with a video drop from Ryan Garcia. People expected an apology, but he flipped the script, and it was anything but that. And guess what? I'm not apologizing for nothing. You gonna, you ain't gonna catch me apologizing for nothing. The last time I apologized was never. So, y'all can come and try to touch me all y'all want. Shoot me if you want. I don't give a fuck. Ryan Garcia is one troubled individual, and it's pretty evident at this point. This guy has no filter. Just take a look at one of his most recent tweets. And if that's not wild enough, wait till you hear this. Ryan dropped a tweet revealing that he, Tank, and Haney all checked into the same hotel. Talk about a showdown waiting to happen. All three checked into the same place. Now, if that doesn't call for drama, then I don't know what does. I mean, Garcia already spoke about his interaction with Haney, and we saw how that went. But wait, there's more. Haney's girlfriend was caught on video screaming at Ryan while he was throwing lethal left hooks on the bag. Knowing Ryan, of course, he had to tweet about this. Ryan stated, This is wild. 
so I was hitting the bag in front of Haney security throwing left hooks to show him it's real. Then his girlfriend started screaming at me. Weird times, bro. Garcia was just trolling Devin Haney. Wish he could say the same for Gervonta Davis, cause that interaction ended up being Garcia's worst one, as he was left with a black eye. Tank and Garcia have always had beef, and it all started when Ryan Garcia and Mike Tyson made fun of Tank and laughed at him while he was on FaceTime. You five five, you don't need a ladder to hit me. You're gonna need a stairmaster, boy. You won't be able to touch me. You ain't never fought a 135 in your life. Just different. Just I don't care what Come you say. You ain't got nigga. nothing. You ain't got nothing. Boy, I don't care. You too ugly to be champ. I don't oh. fucking care. And that's from Muhammad Ali. Boy, I'm pretty. You ain't never seen nothing like me. I promise you. You, you, get you, get you, get you, you seen me the whole time, man. Two rounds you're all gonna take. Now, but you can talk to Mike. Have a good time. I'm happy. Look, I'll I, I get some bachata on you. I'm best shot. Hey. Ryan seriously messed with the wrong guy, and that's why Tank pieced him up in public. But hold up, this wasn't just their beef. Garcia's words didn't just tick off Tank, they disrespected a whole community. Former NBA player Steven Jackson fired up at Ryan, and let's just say he did not leave anything behind. And guess what? I'm not apologizing for nothing. You, gonna, you ain't gonna catch me apologizing for nothing. The last time I apologized was never. So, y'all can come and try to touch me all y'all want. Shoot me if you want. I don't give a fuck. Somebody please touch me. Untouched, won't be touched, nothing's gonna happen, you guys are weird, and guess what, I love everyone, that's a crazy thing, I love everyone, I love black people, I love Muslims, I love everyone, bro, look. Yep, so that happened, Ryan talked about joining the KKK and other wild stuff that Steven already mentioned. Now that is surely crossing a line. Ryan needs serious help, or he needs a serious beatdown, which he already received thanks to Gervonta Tank Davis. Tank had already warned Ryan once that he was gonna go after him. I guess Ryan should have listened before he said the one thing that ticked Tank off enough to beat him up. He been asking for this fight for a minute too. So, he got it. Be careful with what you wish for. Yes. For sure. For sure. That's a very eerie nod you have going. Yeah, because it's like, he's trying to make me out of a bad guy and try to make him like a saint. Like, I, I'm cool with him believing in God, but we know for sure what you do. And you in clubs, you drinking and stuff like that and gambling. Mm -hmm. That's against the rules, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel yourself starting to dislike him yes. now? Yes, I'm starting to dislike him. Just off the fact that he's, he's fake. It actually made me like, wanna go after him. Let's take a look at what the fans are saying about Garcia's controversial comments. One of the fans tweeted this on X. Kid had clear drinking problems and will ship his whole career down the drain. One fan had a message for Daz in boxing. He stated, you guys are actually going to let this guy say this and then allow him to continue boxing on your platform? That's a fair question. How can they let a guy like this fight on such a big stage without causing an uproar? We're talking about millions of people getting upset, but here's the kicker. Ryan is a pay-per-view star. He's the one who sells the shows, bringing in the big bucks. It's going to be a really tough call for Dazen. Do they prioritize the money or the controversy? This decision could make or break the future of their events. 
So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.